participating in football and baseball at the same time was awfully difficult, especially during the spring semester where spring football is now happening and, and it's the prime season for, for baseball at the NCAA level. And it's those experiences, I think, that really drive home the idea that you're doing this because of an intrinsic motivation, because you love it, because it's not easy. Um, it's not easy to participate in one sport and it's surely not easy to participate in two. It really boils down to you are you are a piece of a larger puzzle. You are someone who for the rest of your life will represent yourself, your family, your coaches, your university, your alumni base. That name, that, that Purdue University is attached to me wherever I go. So whatever I do, good and bad, Purdue University is part of that conversation. So I think young people have a, a tough time understanding that. They have a tough time seeing themselves from a future lens. And I think understanding that wherever you go, you will be proud to be that individual. I think more than anything, as an adult now, I'm proud of the competitive fire and passion that I've maintained, perhaps uh, through my Ironman uh, triathlons is one example. My professional work at Utah State is another example. It's easy, I think, as a student athlete to be passionate. You, you, you're allowed to be myopic about your scope of focus. You have academics, and you have schoolwork, and you have athletics, and you have what you're doing on the field. You also, to a certain extent, have a social life that you're trying to take care of. But it's really those three domains that define who you are. You know, when I think about my legacy, I hope that, that 30 or 40 years from now, uh, or maybe more, that people say that I made other people's lives better, whether that was during my time at Purdue uh, or after while I was a graduate student at Purdue or now in my life at Utah and wherever the future might take me. Something I've always been passionate about is making life better, paying it forward for the next generation. And I think, again, that's a lesson that's so readily learned in sports. If you think about it as a mentorship model where you come in as a freshman and the coaches and the upperclassmen are there to mentor you, and then as you progress and you become a junior and a senior, um, you're there. And then coaches who stay in, in the profession, they pass on that knowledge to the, to the next generation. And I think uh, in a number of ways I've done that and am doing that and will continue to do that. And I hope that's my legacy is that in some small way I've used my experiences to make the experience better and more enjoyable for the next generation. Hi, I'm Travis Dorsch and I'm a former NCAA student athlete from Purdue University.